Hello and thank you for tuning in Neptune Knives. So this is just going to be a quick little video of uh, this new, uh, the Fluted Titanium uh, Military. I just picked this up. It's not available yet. I think till somewhere around the 15th, but I was able to get one. And uh, this is, uh, we're keeping this one for sure. This one's uh, going to go to Mel. Uh, she, she really loves this one. Kind of reminds her of a seashell. And that's the first thing I thought when I saw it. It's like Nemo or... It's like, you know, hey, if, you know, someone says, can you start the campfire? I'm like, well, I'll get the seashell knife out and I'll do it. But, uh, you know, regardless, you know, this this knife is the most expensive Spyroco that I've ever seen. It was, a, I had to pay uh, 365 for it. And um, uh, this is, a, that is definitely well beyond normal Spyroco price. Um, to me, this is like custom. This is custom. This, this blade grind here, has no flaws, and this is the first time I've ever seen a, a, a Spyderco with a perfectly ground blade, even on both sides. And uh, on top of that, you know, all the tolerances, it's centered, uh, you know, it's uh, it's got no blade play at all, uh, you know, none of that production little bit, you know, it's got a, you see, and then it's got these titanium handles, um, you know, these are all custom ma manufactured, you know, custom knife uh, features. And then especially once you hit to the, get to that that detail, that, that fluid titanium, um, you know, that, that kind of like that Warren Thomas coloring, and that's that's custom work. I mean, look at look at that that grinding. Uh, and the, this is now beyond how the knife looks. Um, you know, I will say maybe it's a little girly. Um, it doesn't really matter because once it's in your hand, this is the most uh, to me the most uh, biggest improvement this knife has is that it's concealed carry basically it's actually uh, a slim down profile and if you s compare this to the normal militaries this is actually a more light by uh, normal militaries are 5.8 ounces roughly and this one is 5.1 ounces so it's lighter weight and uh, what I like about that is that you know this has always been a tactical fighting knife it's always been a slicer a thin blade you don't pry with it and yet you know you had the uh, previous version with the titanium handles you know it's a little thicker so you have, you know, and it's just kind of like SMFs, you know, you, you see those SMF custom, uh, uh, SMFs by uh, uh, Mick Strider and they have like a, a, a nightmare grind blade and the blade's basically really thin down, so light. And then the handle is a traditional SMF blade where it's big and bulky as if, you're, you know, you're going to go start prying things and use it for some kind of heavy duty use like that. And it just doesn't make sense. And, you know, you go and you see that the concealed carry handle with that Mick Strider hollow grind, uh, nightmare grind blade sold first because that makes sense and the same thing with the military you know the military is a slicer so there's it makes sense for the handle to be overbuilt and that's always felt the traditional militaries were they, the titanium militaries before this you know they felt overbuilt like too sturdy and thick for what the purpose of the blade was and now that they've thinned it down and made this kind of light this is very light this lightweight kind of concealed carry style it just disappears in your pocket you don't notice it I mean it's it's just it's it's really nice now. This knife is really nice. I I I like this knife. This is this is great, um, and it does include some of the new features that Spyroco has added. Uh, there's that stainless steel add-on to the lock bar, and that's and that's just a common thing because um, you know titanium is soft and it can wear out. And you know all frame locks. That's always been an issue. You know how the frame lock, the lock bar rubs against the steel of the blade tang and starts to wear out over time. So Spyderco has opted to do something that, like, kind of what Lion Steel does, and they add that little steel uh, piece right there because the steel is a little bit harder. Uh, it's good. I mean, that definitely is going to improve that. Uh, but uh, to me, that is now an additional uh, place of uh, maintenance because now uh, you have steel uh, hidden, tucked, you know, tucked into that titanium, and that steel can catch water, and next thing you know, you might have rust issues. So, I, I would say you have to open this knife up, go in there, and protect that. Uh, but beyond that, um, like I said, this isn't a full review, so I'm not going to go over the screws and and how the. Uh, there is this new thing too. They got rid of the spacer, just made it open f through uh, open flow construction with just the uh, the the pillars, the spacers, and um, you can see it's only a. Uh, Tip down, uh, right pocket. You know, you can, you, you know, you could do it other ways, I guess. But you know, tip down, right pocket is what's intended to be. Um, but overall, uh, this is just a really great knife. It's a, uh, you know, interesting little things like how the the cutouts on this side instead of how it is on a, on a Strider. You know, how it's on that side. 
you know, on the outside. And what happens is when you pull it out of your pocket, it always gets stuck on that little, that little curve up. And these, you know, I always like that about uh, spider codes. Uh, they're always just smooth, you know. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, you know, the pocket clip. You know, it has that kind of. To me, the pocket clip is the lock bar stop. You know, but uh, the it does have now. They add that where inside this metal piece extends a little bit over to this area right here. This piece, the solid part. So when you when you push the bar out, uh, it you know that metal piece kind of hits this piece and then you can't overextend it see so overall those are some nice refinements to the knife uh, you know that that move, I guess you say longer lasting lock bar and uh, that 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 stability it doesn't do the 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 stability in terms of this way if you were to push down uh, this way on it but you see that thickness right there that that large bulk I don't think that would be a problem and um, overall yeah, this is that new uh, titanium fluted uh, military. Uh, this is just a really nice knife. It gives you that kind of a, uh, I would say, kind of has an ethnic look to it. In reality, it's like a very nice, uh, very tactical. Uh, melts in your hand. I will say that the uh, this new concealed carry style, uh, it is a little edgy right here. And these these edges can kind of dig. You know, these, these are some spots. They're not hot spots. I mean, I don't think I don't think uh, anything coming from Golden, Colorado, uh, is going to be like that. The Chinese ones, yeah, but not, not these. But uh, nevertheless, there is that sort of slight uh, edge there on those edges. Not here on the spiral hole, like those Chinese ones. Hate that, you know. Uh, they finished it off.